Morning everyone, this is Lydia coming to you from the Little Rock Athletic Club bar studio. Still missing you guys, still wishing we could have like real class, but we're gonna just um, get moving at home. This is a full body power class. We're working towards Hanumanasana, um, but if you don't practice full Hanumanasana, that is okay because there are always options and you can always skip poses that you don't love. All right, so we're gonna get started. I have two blocks. And so if you have a stack of thick books, you know, old textbooks or anything like that, you can use that as your support or just a couple of tri-folded blankets or a stack of towels. You make it work, okay? <coughs> so we're going to start on our back with our sacrum on the block. Legs up. You want to get to that block or that stack of towels or books to your balance point, the flat part of your lower back, so that you're not really working to keep the legs up here. And you'll keep your heart open, working the shoulders under, lengthening through the crown of the head. Deep breaths in. Finding your center. Allowing your attention to be more on the space in between your thoughts than on your thoughts themselves. And if you find yourself becoming anxious, this is a great pose to return to. Lifting your hips up over your heart can really calm you down. So I invite you to deepen your inhales and exhales, maybe flex and point your feet, spread out the toes, and just let yourself become soft against the earth. One more deep breath in, fill your body up with air. Exhale, try and soften the muscles around the face, neck and shoulders. Let's set the feet down, lift the hips up, move the block to the side. We're gonna hug the right knee in, send the left leg long. Flex and point those toesies, circle out the ankles, and then let's switch. Flex and point, and circle. And we're just going to start moving with your breath, switching from one side to the other. If this is putting pressure on your lower back that doesn't feel good, just don't lower that extended leg as much. Hold it up. One more each side. Maybe pull that knee in a little closer to the chest. And then we'll hug both knees into the chest. Maybe move the hips from side to side to massage the lower back. And then let's set the feet down hip width apart and windshield wipe out the knees. And then let's take the legs straight up again. Flex the toes. Set the feet down hip width apart with the um, ankles down from the knees. Roll the shoulders under. Lift up for your first bridge pose. Push into all four corners of the feet. Glutes are active here. Back body is lifting you up. Exhale back down. Hug the knees into the chest. Send the legs up. Flex the feet. Set them down, bridge pose. Maybe lift the arms up overhead or keep them down by your sides, whatever you prefer. One more inhale, lift up. Exhale, hips down, arms down. Windshield wipe out the knees. Hug the knees into the chest. 
extend the legs up, flex the feet. Point, flex, feet down, hip width apart, bridge pose, lift up. Hips down, move the knees from side to side. One more time, knees back to center, hug them into the chest, extend them up, flex the feet, point the feet, bridge pose. Maybe lift up on the balls of the feet, lift the hips up even higher, keep your gaze right above your face, and relax back down. We're going to rock up to boat pose, Navasana. So you're on the flat part of your sacrum. With your, I like my shins parallel to the floor, but some people are really intense and awesome and extend their legs out like that. You take what you prefer. Lift the heart up. Abdominals strong. We're going to lower to low boat pose. And up. Five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it. Set the feet down. Hands on the shins. Round seated cat. Inhale. Open the heart. Seated cow. Move between those two poses. Full inhales and exhales. Letting your get breath guide your movement. We're not judging or evaluating ourselves inside of these postures. We're just feeling them. Listening to the message that the body has for us today. And then coming back up. Walk the feet in a little bit. Hands back behind you with the fingertips toward the tailbone. Open the chest, lift the hips up for your reverse table. Maybe let the head drop behind you. Lift up a little higher if it's available. Set the hips back down. Extend the legs long. Dandasana, staff pose. Flex the feet back towards the shins. Stretch to one side. Back to center. Other side. Abdominal strong here to keep you growing. Look up, start to hinge forward. Don't round over, just hinge and lift. Come back up, reverse table. And down. Extend the legs long, Dandasana. Hinge forward. Look down at the knees, grow long back, body, and reverse table. Set it down, Dandasana, arms up. This time let's grow and grow and then round all the way over for Paschimottanasana. Breathing into the back body, letting the head and neck be heavy and soft. Let's come up to seated, cross the legs. If you have that C curve in your lower back or it just doesn't feel comfortable, you can always sit on one of your supports or a towel. We're going to push down through the sits bones, rise up through the crown of the head. We tend to lean forward here, so pull your shoulders back so they're over the hips. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Connecting with the inner light. Sometimes it's really hard to find that inner light and to connect with it. So sometimes all we can do is be aware of the breath. Inhale, arms up. Stretch to one side. Center. Other side. Back up. Look up. Cactus the arms. Pull the elbows back. Maybe drop the chin slightly. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, twist to one side. Doesn't really matter which one. Use your hand against your knee to twist deeper. Look behind you. Okay. 
Come back to center, arms up, look up. Exhale, twist the other way. Pull your abdominals in, grow through the crown of the head. Back to center, arms up. Take the hands back behind you with the fingertips pointed towards the tailbone. Pop the chest open, pull the shoulders together, maybe drop the head back like we did in our reverse table. And lift up. Isolations with the rib cage. Round all the way around. Two. And three. And then reverse that direction. One. Two, keep the tailbone pushing down, and three. All right, we're going to find a forward fold at the top of the mat. Knees can be bent, feet hip width apart. Just sink into this forward fold, letting your neck grow long, letting gravity work out the kinks in your lower back. Maybe sway from side to side. Maybe shake the head no and nod it yes. And then we'll come up halfway, lift and lengthen, look forward, and fold down. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, we're going to get the legs more warmed up and the core with some Shakti kicks. These are good for releasing anger, so get your corona anger out. Um, my friend Laura, shout out, hey Laura, broke her toe doing this. So we're going to step back and then kick forward. Just be sure that that back foot clears when you land in the back, okay? Don't kick the ground with your toesies. That's a no-no. All right? So we're going to start with the left foot forward, right foot goes back, and then you're going to kick. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Switch. Left foot back. Halfway. Ten. Shake your legs out. Find your forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. I'm sorry, I said forward fold. I meant Tadasana. Exhale, now forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Abdominals in and up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up halfway. Look forward. And fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. This is our artist, Surya Namaskar, moving meditation. If you get off my cues, no stress. Follow your breath. Inhale, arms up and fold. Ardo Tanasana, halfway up and fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. And fold. Inhale, halfway up. And fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more rounds. You'll notice that the inhales are kind of folding or closing movements. I'm sorry, inhales are opening, spreading out movements. Exhales are closing or folding movements. That's generally how it works in yoga. Took me a long time to figure that out. And hands to heart center. Sink the hips back, Utkatasana, chair pose. Round the tailbone under, abdominals in. Shoulder blades squeezing up and back. I'm sorry, down and back. And lower the hips. Lower, lower. Navasana, boat pose. We're going to set the feet down. 
Sorry, extend the legs out, set the heels down, hands back behind you, fingertips towards the glutes, lift the hips up, reverse plank. If you don't like how that feels, you can do your reverse table again instead. Set the hips down, come all the way up, Dandasana. Inhale, grow. Exhale, hinge forward, then round over. Inhale, all the way back up. Boat pose. Low boat. High boat. Stretch the legs out, push the heels into the ground. Reverse uh, plank. Set it back down, arms up. Fold over. One big breath in. All the way back up. Hug the knees into the chest, rock onto the back. Keep that movement, momentum, movement forward and back. Find your Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. This is Surya Namaskar A. Exhale, fold. Halfway up. And fold. Plant the hands, walk or hop it back to your plank. Lower to your belly with your elbows hugged in. Pull the shoulders onto the back, lift up for cobra pose. And release. Child's pose. Knees wide or knees together, you choose what you prefer. Pointer fingers toward the front corners of the mat. Push into the circle of the palm, tuck the toesies under. Auto Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Maybe have a nice bend in your knees here. Let your neck grow long, let your head be heavy. Look between the hands, walk or hop, forward fold. Arda, halfway up, and fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up, slight back bend. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more round of that sequence. Inhale, arms up, and fold. Arda Uttanasana, halfway up, and fold. Walk or hop it back to plank, lower to your belly. Untuck the toesies, shoulders back onto the back, Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Release back down. Child's pose. Tuck the toes under. Downward facing dog. Look between the hands. Walk, hop, or float. Forward fold. Inhale halfway up. And fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. And fold. Halfway up, look forward, and fold. Walk or hop it back. Shift forward on your toes, maybe go all the way down to cobra, or push the ground away, lift up to your Urdhva Mukha Savasana, upward facing dog, to downward facing dog. <laughs> Remember, child's or table is always an alternative for downward facing dog, if that's more appropriate for your practice, or if it just feels better. Look between the hands, walk or hop, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes, take a moment to absorb the changes that are happening in your body, to feel the energy that you've created within you. We're going to open the left leg back. Wide-legged forward fold towards one side of your mat. So you're folded in between the legs. Again, I like a nice bend in the knees here, but it just depends on your preference. Right hand to left shin, left arm up. Inhale, lift up a little higher. Exhale, fold between the legs. Inhale, halfway up. And fold. Left hand, right shin, right arm up. Inhale, up. And fold. We're going to bring the knees in, I'm sorry, heels in slightly, toes out. Find your goddess squat, Utkara Konasana. Inhale up, arms up, look up. Exhale, squat. Five. Four. Three. Two, 
And one. Hold, maybe lift up into horse pose, lifting the heels up. And stand. We're going to take it into trikonasana. So your left toesies point towards the front. Your right left toesies point towards the long edge of your mat. Right toesies towards the narrow edge. Stretch the arms out. Reach over the right leg. Reach, reach, reach. Open up trikonasana. Letting the hips shift back. Pulling the heart, shoulders, and chest back. Look up or look down at the foot. Either one is fine. Abdominal strong, back strong. So you may need to uh, grab your supports here because we're about to switch this into pyramid pose. So you might want your supports on either side of your right foot. We're going to close the left arm down, point both sets of toesies towards the, the narrow or the, the uh, front of the mat. Hips are parallel to the front of the mat. So it's a shorter stance that, get, that allows your hips to close. Lift up halfway, and you can just be using your right leg as your support here if you don't have anything else. And then fold over the legs. Breathe into the back of that right hip. You're steadily reaching the right hip back, pulling the left hip forward. Work the left leg back, set the knee down. Make sure that right ankle is under the right knee. Lift up Anjaneyasana. Hug the right hip down, lift up, abdominal strong. Cactus the arms. Arms up. Left hand down, right arm up. Anjaneyasana. We're going to take this into a Skandasana squat at the back of the mat. If you don't practice Skandasana, I know some of my uh, students have hip problems and it's just not their thing. You can just take this into a runner's lunge here and then walk it over and make it a runner's lunge over here. Those of us who do practice Skandasana will be moving from one side to the other. Five rounds of breath. When you're even on both sides, we'll meet in the middle. Step both legs to the top of the mat. Walk the feet out, mat width apart, toesies pointed out. We're going to find our garland squat. So you set your hips down between the legs. Some of us don't get this low, and that's okay. That's totally normal. If your um, heels are up, that's normal too. As long as you're feeling something in the hips and nothing is painful, you're doing a great job. Lift through the crown of the head. Set the fingertips down, hips up, forward fold. Right leg goes back this time, Anjaneyasana. That's your low lunge. Lower abdominal strong, cactus the arms, arms up. Right hand down, left arm up. Left hand down, we're going to walk that right foot under, close the hips, pyramid pose. Lift up halfway, hug the left hip back, right hip forward, and fold down. We're going to take this into trikonasana. Left toes Pointed forward, right arch in line with the left heel, left arm to shin, ankle, or floor, right arm up. Abdominal strong, letting the hips splay back, open the shoulders back. Back up into star pose. Toes pointed forward. Puff the chest, open the heart back. I mean, open the heart forward, arms back. Come back up, point the toesies out, sit the hips down, Utkara Konasana. Inhale up, exhale squat.
and three, two, one. Hold, lift the heels, pull the chest back. All the way up. Right toesies towards the front of the mat. Heel to arch alignment, trikonasana. Repeating the same sequence. Close the hips, both sets of toes pointing forward. Pyramid pose. Lift up halfway and fold. Take the left knee down, right knee over right ankle. Anjaneyasana. Cactus the arms, look down slightly. Arms up, left hand down, right arm up, look up. Skandasana, all the way to the back of the mat. Again, take the variation that works for you. Moving from side to side. One more round of breath. Back up to center. Step the feet to the top of the mat. Garland's pose. Sit the hips down. If it's in your practice, maybe throw in a crow here. Working the knees behind or really into the armpits. Pushing the ground away. Lifting the toes up, looking at the floor. If you're, not, if you're not into that, just take that garland's pose. Coming all the way back up to standing. Inhale, arms up. Forward fold. Right leg back behind us this time, Anjaneyasana. Right hand down, left arm up. Left hand down, bring the right foot under, hip square, both sets of toes pointed forward. Inhale up halfway and fold. Open up to triangle pose, taking the right foot back a little bit, heel to arch alignment, right arm up, trikonasana. Coming all the way up to standing. Toesies pointed out slightly. Utkata Konasana. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Two. One, inhale, arms up, step to the front of the mat, forward fold, vinyasa, or skip it to downward facing dog. <sighs> Reconnect with the breath, however hard you're breathing, stay with your breath. Drop the knees, child's pose. Find table to downward facing dog. We're going to shift forward to plank and dog. Plank and dog. Forward and back. Keep your abdominals strong. Think about fighting against gravity. Staying in motion. Fifteen more seconds. And plank. Take the right hand beneath the face. Find your side plank, Vashistasana. You can always have the right knee down if that's better for you. We're going to lift the left leg up. Bend the knee. Set that foot behind us. Open the heart for wild thing. Come back around to plank. Take it to the other side. 
Vashistasana. Lift up the right leg. Woo! Bend the knee. Open. Open the hips and the heart. Wild thing. Bring the right arm back around. Plank. Vinyasa. To downward facing dog. Towel off. Get a drink of water. Ring out the uh, wrists. Whatever you need to do. All right. From dog, lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hips. Pull that right heel toward the glute. Push the ground away with the hands. Keep your chest reaching up and back. Shift forward, right foot between the hands. Get your support if you need it for um, side angle. Set the left heel down, left arm up and over. We're going to make big circles with that top arm. Two, three, reverse. One, two, three. All the way up, we're going to find crescent lunge. So the toes are pointed towards the front of the mat, arms up. Here goes another round of kicks. You're going to pull your elbows back as you kick your leg forward. And crescent lunge. Three, two, one. Crescent lunge. Vera three, flying into warrior three. Back body strong. Strong from the crown of the head to the left heel. Entire back leg is strong. Hands together at heart or extended out. Your preference. Right hand down, stack the left hip on top of the right. Maybe for your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Whole back body strong. Just like in side plank. Close the hip back down. Set the left foot down for pyramid. Inhale halfway and fold. We're going to move into Hanumanasana, which is the splits. I know it sounds terrible. But when I teach you guys in person, you do a great job. So quit your moaning. So we're going to walk the left leg back and lower that knee down. And then come into half Hanumanasana first. Stretch the right leg out. Take the right hip back. Lift up halfway and then round over. So we've already loosened up the back of that leg a lot. Now you want your block, your stack of towels, your books, whatever. Most of us need that under our right hip. We're going to start to walk it out. Lower the hip down. Find whatever level of this you can. And if you stay in half a Numenasana, awesome. That's totally fine. It's just yoga. Square the hips towards the front. Arms up. Pull the shoulders open. Look up. I think this is the weird stuff everybody thinks we're doing when we do yoga. You know, the non-yogis, they're like, oh yeah, I bet they're doing the splits, weirdos. Arms come on either side of the leg, move that block or blanket or whatever off to the side and sit down for your uh, Upavista Kanasana, seated, wide-legged. So you're on your sits bones. You may need to be propped up on something. Feet up, uh, knee, knees up. You don't necessarily need your legs to be open super wide. Okay? Inhale, arms up. Stretch to one side. Back up. Other side. Back up. Clasp the hands in front of you. Mill turning pose. So you're just going to draw a circle with your hands, abdominals working here, legs stabilizing you. And once you get back to the center, let's reverse. Keep those feet reaching up and back towards the shins. One more. And up, arms up, look up. 
Take the hands back behind you, fingertips towards the glutes. Open the heart. Maybe drop the head back behind you. And lift up. Let's find a child's pose at the back of the mat. Knees together. Walk the hands forward slightly. Let your chest melt down. Sink the hips back behind you. Let's come up to table. Three rounds of cat and cow. For cow, you drop your belly, lift your hips and your head. For cat, you activate the abdominals, lower the head, round the tailbone under. And find downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, pull that heel toward the glute, keep the shoulder square towards the mat, push the ground away, let the, the neck grow long. Shift forward, setting up for side angle, right heel down, heel to arch alignment, same legs as warrior two. Left hand to the inside of the left foot, maybe on a block or some type of support. Three circles. Reverse. All the way up, crescent lunge. We're going to find those kicks again. Arms up. Exhale, elbows back, kick forward. Last one. Take it back, crescent lunge, fly into warrior three. Right hip is in line with the left. Strong body from the crown of the head to the right heel. Set the right foot down for pyramid pose. Situate your hips, get your supports if you need them. Lift up halfway and fold. This is where we start to walk it back for our Hanumanasana. First, set that right knee down. Straighten the left leg. Arda Hanumanasana, half. Lift up halfway. Fold over the leg. Feeling how supple and open we've made the back of that leg become through our practice. All right, start to walk it out. Stretching the legs out either way. Find your support if you need it. If anyone doesn't need the support, please take a picture of your full Hanumanasana and post it in the comments. That would make me so happy. You guys are always inspiring me, and that would probably make me work on this more because I'd be like, if you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Pull the hands back. Open the heart. Sink the shoulders down away from the ears. Hands come down on either side of the hips. Move your block to the side. Find your Upavista Konasana. Seated wide-legged. This time we're going to keep the ankles and the feet pointing up. Start to walk the hands forward with the back flat. Think about length from the tail to the crown, moving towards the earth. Come back up. Inhale, arms up. Right elbow towards the inside of the right leg, left arm up and over like you're reaching for that foot. Maybe you do reach the foot. Inhale up. Left elbow towards inside of left leg. Reach the right arm up and over. Reach for the foot. Back up. Clasp the hands at center. Mill turning pose. Whew. 
and reverse, other side. Awesome, release the hands, child's pose at the back of the mat. Walk the hands a little farther forward, sink the hips back and down. Inhale up to table. Three rounds, cat and cow. Ring out the spine. <sighs> Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, stay there or find your wild thing again. Lift those hips up. Come back around, plank pose, vinyasa, back to your dog. Shift forward to plank. We're gonna bring that right foot between the hands, left heel down, side angle, left arm up and over. Warrior two. Roll the tailbone under, right heel over right ankle, reverse. Warrior two. Straighten the right leg, point both sets of toes toward the long edge of the mat, open the arms up, fold between the legs. Inhale up halfway, and fold. Point right toesies to the front of the mat, trikonasana, left arm up. Readjust the legs, warrior two. Reverse, side angle. Left hand down, vinyasa or skip it to Adho Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, left leg up behind you, bend the knee, open the hip, stay there or flip it out into your wild thing. Big back bend. <sighs> left arm back around, set that foot down, vinyasa to downward facing dog. <sighs> Set the left foot between the hands, right heel down, side angle. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle. Be mindful if you're squeezing those shoulders up towards the ears, try and keep them relaxed. We all do that enough anyway. We don't do, need to do that in our yoga practice. Straighten the left leg, trikonasana, right arm up. Come all the way back up to center, point the toes to the long edge of the mat, star pose, push the chest and hips forward, exhale, fold between the legs. Right hand to left shin, left arm up. Inhale, twist deeper, lift higher. Exhale, fold. Left hand, right shin, right arm up. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Bring the body up parallel to the floor. I have to bend my knees here and kind of sit my hips back to maintain my balance, so you might need to do that also. Cactus the arms out. Arms and torso parallel to the ground. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cactus. Five, four, three, two, one. Sit in the arms out, fold between the legs. Walk the hands over to the front foot, vinyasa or skip it. Look between the hands, walk, hop, or float, forward fold. Walk the feet out a little bit wider than hip distance apart, come all the way up. Grab your towel if you need it, or just interlace your hands at the base of the spine, opening the chest, pulling the shoulders back and down. Open the throat. Bend the knees, fold over the legs, letting the arms hang down. 
Bend the knees as much as you need. You can even create a shelf for your chest and belly. And release the arms. Set your towel to the side. Walk the feet back under the hips. Let's walk the fingertips to the right side of the feet. Breathe here. Walk them off the other side. Back to center. Inhale all the way up. Interlace the fingers at the top. Turn the palms up. Stretch to one side. Make a banana shape. Back to center. Other side. Back to center. You guys, it just occurred to me that we only did half moon on one side. Oops! That's why I need to be teaching with you guys, because you all remind me. But what we're going to do is get your support if you need it. It's the left side we didn't do. So grab, put that support right in front of your left foot. Take your left hand down. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Flex the right toesies, right arm up. Strong back body, Ardha Chandrasana. My apologies, but if you come to my classes on a regular basis, you know this is kind of par for the course. And then come all the way up. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for remembering that, I have to say. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Vinyasa or skip it to downward facing dog. Look between the hands, walk or hop, forward fold. This time, bring the inner edges of the feet and the legs together. Set the hips down, chair pose, utkatasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Twist to one side. Maybe hooking the elbow over the knee. Try and keep your knees in line with one another. Back to center. Twist the other way. Back to center. We're going to lower the hips down. All the way to a seat. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Hands to the ankles. Open the heart, open the throat. Start to hinge forward, fold over. Maybe gently pushing the knees down. Maybe walking the hands forward. Dropping the head. Maybe sway the torso from side to side. Returning to those deep, nourishing breaths. Returning to paying attention to your breath. Letting the tension start to float away. We'll slowly come up. Send the legs long. We're going to um, find seated bow. I think it's archer pose, actually. And then we'll find a variation of Marichyasana C. That means nothing to most people. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. And lift that foot up. Maybe reach for the heel with the right hand. Keep the back, the spine long. And then just kind of move that leg from side to side, getting into the hip. Maybe making a little circle. Maybe trying the other direction. Keep your abdominals strong. Let's take the right foot to the other side of the left thigh. Set the hips down. Hug that knee in. This pose looks different for a lot of people, and that's okay. If you need that right foot to be on the inside of the left leg, that's all right. Let's keep that left uh, foot active. Lift up through the crown of the head. We're going to keep hugging that right knee in. Lift the left arm up. Exhale, twist towards the right. Take the left elbow to the outside of the right knee if that's available. If not, just use that arm to hug the knee in. Then the right arm goes up behind us, and we use that hand as a support behind the back. Grow through the spine. 
Left foot active, slowly look behind you. You feel constricted here, but those deep breaths will help you get the full benefits of the pose. If you're more of an advanced practitioner, you can bend the left knee and bring the left heel towards the right glute. One more breath. Head comes back to center. And then the rest of you. Right foot to the inside of the left leg. Inhale, arms up, square the torso toward the extended leg. Start to fold over, round all the way down. Inhale up. Extend the right leg long. Hug the left, oh. First, hug the left knee in towards the left armpit. Grab the heel with the left hand. Move from side to side. Maybe draw those little circles. And then we'll take that foot to the outside of the right thigh. Abdominal strong, back strong, lifting up. Hug that knee into the chest. Maybe lift that right arm up. Hook the elbow over. Maybe just hug that knee in. Left arm up. Use your hand behind you as your support. Grow through the spine. Grow through the crown. Look behind you. One more breath. Head comes back to center, and then the rest of you. Take the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Uh, turn your body to face the extended leg. Arms up, lift, and then fold over. Slowly come all the way back. Make your way onto your back. Feet on the mat, knees bent. When should wipe your knees out from side to side? <sighs> Work your shoulders under slightly so your palms are up, knees back to center. Let's take the right ankle on top of the left top thigh. Use your right hand to push that knee away a little bit. And then lift your left foot up off the ground. Drop your legs to the left side. You look to the right. Right arm out in a cactus or T shape. Starting to soften the muscles we've been working out here. With each breath, speaking to ourselves gratitude for our efforts and taking care of ourselves for our efforts and staying present. It's always best to focus on the effort rather than evaluating whether we did good enough. If we really tried, we have every reason to be proud of ourselves. Imagining the muscles along the spinal column becoming soft and supple. Imagining your body becoming heavier, pulled down and embraced by gravity against the earth. Bring the hips back down, both legs straight up. Circle out the ankles. Set the feet down, left ankle on top of right thigh. Use the hand to push that left knee away. And then lift the right foot up. Drop the legs to the right side. Look to the left, cactusing or teeing out the left arm. Again, let gravity do the work to twist you, soften you, and open you. As humans, there's the great paradox that in our vulnerability is our strength. And that's why I think most yogis, at least the ones I've read and watched, believe that these last minutes 
of practice are the most important and most transformative. If your mind starts to wander and you start thinking about the next things you need to do, try and return your attention to your breath. Slowly let the left hip come back down. Send the legs up. For your last pose, you can find a shoulder stand, a plow if that's in your practice, or just a nice happy baby. And then we'll all move into Savasana. Whatever version of Savasana you prefer. Uh, traditionally, your legs are extended long. Your shoulders are working under, so your palms are open towards the sky, and there's a little more space around your neck. Your feet are open to either side. But if that's not comfortable, you have options. You can bring your feet together with your knees open wide. You can set um, a long blanket along the length of your spine to kind of puff you up a little bit. You can set a pillow or something under the knees or the hips. It's definitely something you want to play around with in order to become fully comfortable and be able to surrender and be present on your mat. Corpse pose, the art and practice of dying. invite you to slowly begin moving your fingers and your toes. Maybe moving the head from side to side or wiggling the ankles and the wrists. And then start to take deeper inhales and exhales. Inviting your awareness back into your body in this space. When you're ready, you'll roll onto a fetal position, using your bicep as a pillow, feeling yourself heavy, relaxed, and at peace. We'll push up to a seated position, spine long and legs crossed. From there, roll the shoulders up towards the ears, pull them back onto the back so the chest is bright, Vulnerable, showing your strength. And then we'll inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale them to heart center. 
Paramahansa Yogananda said, learn to be happy here and now under all conditions and to include others' happiness in your own joy. Go out of your way to make others happy. May you all be happy. May you all be at peace. I miss you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Namaste.